My next guest tonight is a very funny comedian who hosts the podcast Two Chairs and a Microphone. Past guests have included Paul McCartney, Brian Cranston, and Stephen Colbert. Please welcome Paul Mercurio. <laughs> I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much. That was amazing. Um, so, I was a lawyer on Wall Street and quit to be a comedian. Uh, <laughs> that's not how my mother reacted. Uh, I was living a secret double life. I was a lawyer by day, comic by night. And people always say to me, did you know you were going to be a comedian? I'm like, no. They were like, were you funny? I'm like, yeah, I was always the funniest lawyer in my law firm. Which is kind of like being the sexiest IT guy. <laughs> I'd, say, I'd say these really funny things that get laughs from your other lawyers, you know, stuff like, we can't do that, that's unethical. <laughs> and people here, I did corporate law, and people here you do corporate law, that's like, oh, that's the worst, the lowest of the low, the scum, you're evil, you kill kittens. And I'm like, uh, we would outsource that. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Can I ask you guys something? Well, how do the people who make Vaseline make any money? I have had the same tub of Vaseline. Right? Right? The guy with the glasses, am I right? My Vaseline was handed down to me by my grandfather in a will. You've never heard this phrase uttered in the history of mankind. Honey, I'm going out to get more Vaseline. You could go through 50,000 bags of garbage. You're not going to find one empty container of Vaseline. One time, I almost threw my Vaseline out. I'm like, uh, I don't recognize these fingerprints. I think my wife is cheating on me. Ah, uh, screw it. Mm. Uh, I was in Costco, and, uh, there was like a 90-year-old guy who had a shopping cart filled with nothing but like 40 cans of Progresso soup. <laughs> nothing. But 40 cans of Progresso, like a 90-year-old guy, 40 cans of soup, and I'm looking at that, and I'm thinking, ah, that's optimistic. <laughs> you want to laugh, let it out. I can feel it. You got to let it out. So I was on a show recently, and they asked us, uh, who manipulates more in a relationship, men or women? And I'm like, everybody manipulates equally. Women. I think manipulate better than men because women can use sex to manipulate. And that's okay. Because great things have been achieved by men because women have used sex to manipulate. Like the caveman only invented fire because there was a woman whining, it's too cold to have sex. <laughs> Boom, fire right there. <laughs> then they said to us, what's the most important thing in a relationship, communication or sex? Now, because the cameras were on, everybody's like, oh, communication, PC, communication. No, we know, sex. <laughs> because nobody fantasizes about communication. <laughs> There's no guy out there going, you know what, I wish I could have a three-way dialogue with two women about how they feel. <laughs> so... <laughs> so, uh, my wife and I are completely opposites, Carol. Uh, she's very organized. I'm all over the place, impatient. And we've been having this one argument for years. And I do this one thing that drives her crazy, but her reaction to me drives me like, mm. And if you're in a relationship, you've had this argument. I'm in the refrigerator with the door open, and she's in the living room. And I'm like, Carol, where are the pickles? Uh, you, you already know where this is going. <laughs> you know where they are. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. They're in the refrigerator. I know that. Where? You know where they are. No, I don't. They're on the shelf. I know. Pickles go on the shelf. Where? This is funny to you, lady. I'll come over there. <laughs> They're on the show. I know. Then this is the line. This is the line where she says it, and you think, ah, uh, divorce. <laughs> I don't see them. Are you looking? <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> then, <laughs> then, then this next line, try figuring this next line out. Are, yeah, I'm looking. Are you look looking or just looking? <laughs> I'm looking. You never look for things. You're like a child. You have to look. I'm not going to look for you. Then, then, then. She gets really condescending, like she's a control tower talking on the plane and I'm a bag of rocks. 
All right, do you see the bread? Yes, I see the bread. Well, if you look, you'll notice the pickles are right behind the bread. I don't see them. Then here comes the next line. Did you move the bread? <laughs> yeah, did you move, move the bread or just move the bread? I moved the bread. Would you move it like two inches? You're like a child. You have to move. All right, I moved the bread. And what do you see? Nothing. Exactly, Paul, because you forgot to buy pickles on the way home last night. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Paul. Paul's comedy album is not me, it's the world. Paul McCurry, everybody. We'll be right back.